Hi, we are junior firefighter reporters. I'm Charlie. Hi, I'm Michaela and we're at the fire station to ask some firefighters questions. I want to know what happens when you call triple zero. Jamie, I'm a firefighter with Fire Rescue New South Wales and I'm an operator in the Communication Centre in Sydney and we take your triple zero calls. When you call triple zero you'll be asked if you want police, fire or ambulance. If you see smoke or fire, say fire. The operator will ask what state you live in and connect you to an emergency services operator like me who will take all your details. Stay on the line, speak clearly and answer all the questions as best as you can. Don't hang up until the operator says that they have all the information that they need. You'll be asked for the address, where you are, the number and the name of the street. The nearest cross street and the suburb that you're in. In rural areas, it's important to give the full address and name of the property if you know it, as well as any landmarks or roads nearby. If you don't know where you are, the operator may be able to help you. If you are using a mobile phone, the location of the phone will be sent to the emergency service. So we can help you even if you are lost. If there's a safe place nearby and you can wait there, it may be possible to help firefighters when they arrive. So also tell them where they can find you. Never call triple zero unless you have a real emergency because someone who really needs our help might be on the phone at the same time. But if you do see smoke or fire, call triple zero straight away because every fire is a real emergency. Thank you.